Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into uh, the meat of what today's video is gonna be about, I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much to everyone who took time out of their day to comment such beautifully nice things to me in my last video. I'm going to be completely honest, I was very nervous to post that video. As a matter of fact, I almost didn't post that video. I almost just kind of kept it moving and stayed off of YouTube altogether. But I really wanted to come back. I, I missed content creation. I missed doing all of this. And so I felt like before I made an honest attempt to come back on my channel and do anything, I needed to address the obvious, the elephant in the room. And I'm glad I did. I did do a lot of filters as far as like different words that I wanted held for review. There were a couple comments that did not make it through. So they wasted their time for no reason. Love that for them. For the most part, about 99.9% .9 of the comments that I got were all positive and so uplifting. And I'm so thankful for that. So thank you so, so much. It means so much to me that you, you all took time to comment those nice things to me. So thank you. All right. So for today's video, it's obviously, if you saw the title, a classic video of mine that I usually have on my channel. It's one of my favorite videos to film because it's so relaxing and it's so easy to film. It's just sitting down and talking as opposed to sitting down doing an entire like makeup look and step by step and explain things. And not that I don't like doing that anymore. I do. I do miss it sometimes, especially now since my makeup routine has definitely changed now that I've gotten older. Um, so if you want to see an updated makeup look, let me know. I do have like a, an everyday makeup thing that I tend to do, but only on days when I need to like look presentable. Most of the time, mama's makeup free and I'm okay with that. So for tonight's video, I'm going to be using All Faithful. If you know, you know. I have always talked so highly about these masks. They're inexpensive. They do work, in my opinion. I've used them for many, many, many years. And I've, I've never had a problem with them. I am starting to transition away from them just because I do want to invest more in my skin as I get older. I'm early 30s, but still, I want to start to actually care about my skin because it's the only skin I'm ever going to have the rest of my life. So I want it to look good, obviously. Not that this makes my skin look bad. I just feel like I could be investing more into better products that better suit my skin that will benefit me in the long run. That's all. So one of the questions I had received, um, well, quite a few times, uh, especially on Instagram, on my DMs and things like that, uh, was where I've been. So I figured I'd start with that, very quickly catch you all up on what I've been doing. I know earlier last month, I announced that I was coming back to YouTube. Um, and I uh, had every intention of putting a video up um, right after that. But uh, I ended up actually going on my bachelorette trip. I was gonna film the entire thing, but I really just wanted to be an experience for me and my girls. It was amazing to say the least. I mean, it was probably one of the most memorable, actually the most memorable trip I've had going back home in a very long time. And it was all because of my primita, Christina. She's not even my prima, she's my sister. I'm not gonna lie. The relationship that she and I have, like it's been a sisterhood. There's never been like, oh, we're just cousins. No, 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 that's my sister. Very quickly, I know I look crazy. Do I care? No. But yeah, I, I just, there's, I cannot put into words how incredible it was. And I wanted to, I wanted to show you the two most iconic things that came from this trip was this first thing. So the night that I flew in was actually the night that that huge, I think it was like CrowdStrike, I think it was called, the huge Microsoft attack happened and all the airlines were like shutting down. How we made it out of the airport and into Fort Lauderdale, I have no idea. I have, I'm telling you the universe was on my side. I was praying to every known God the universe, the trees, Jonathan Bailey. I was praying to everybody. Please let me get home. I want to go home. I want to be with my family. I need to get out of Vermont. I need to get out of here. I just want to go home. And the universe was like, okay, bitch, go. Bye. But it was the day that that strike happened. Um, we didn't get in. We were supposed to be in Fort Lauderdale at 10 o'clock uh, that night on the 18th. We did not get in till 1 o'clock the morning the next day. Like, I was so angry and it was it was me and Aurora. Aurora was an angel. Can I just say this? An angel, do you hear me? 
anyways <laughs> i was i was very delusional at this point i was so tired i was winded so when i saw this i was dying laughing are you ready for this okay it is a tattoo with my fiance's face it's a terrible picture of him but it has my fiance's face on it and all the girlies we put it on our ass love that for us um but the other event that we did was that was a huge highlight for me um was to paint pictures of the groom so what i'll do is i'll post the picture that was the inspiration over here and i will show you the actual picture that was painted right after so this first one was done by one of my best friends casey here is the original and he <laughs> And here is her painting. Is that not the funniest shit in the world? Next up, the bestie Nicole, my wife Nicole. Here's the inspiration. <laughs> Next up, my primita, she did hers. Inspiration. <laughs> like, it's to me, it's, it's, it's the nipple just hanging out. Liz did one, and here's her inspiration. <laughs> it's so bad. And then of course, I did one. And I feel like mine is the worst out of everybody. And this was not on purpose. I tried to do my best to accurately portray what was in the picture and put it on this canvas, okay? So here's my inspiration. so bad listen i never said that i was what's his name bob ross i never once said i was bob ross ass bitch okay i am not but i tried my best and i think it's fucking hilarious i think so yeah uh the, those two things i mean the entire event obviously like i said was you know unforgettable uh and just iconic but these two things had me dying you hear me i was crying laughing because it was just so ridiculous and I had the best time uh, watching everyone paint these pictures of my soon-to-be husband, which is, I can't believe I'm doing it again, to be honest with you. But you know what? Here I am. But I wanted to very briefly just touch on a point that I made earlier about why this trip was so significant to me. I mentioned that it was eye-opening, and I want to elaborate on that a little bit. The reason why this trip was so eye-opening for me was because it made me realize just how much I don't have here. And that's not to say that I have nothing here. I don't. I, I do have meaningful friendships with a few people. I do have meaningful relationships with Stephen's parents. Um, and I do love the area, but I feel like where we are is very quickly turning into a hellscape. And I don't really want to be here anymore. I don't feel tethered to this place anymore. And I've always been somebody who is very in tune with I know it's like the thing, but like vibes, like the vibes of a place and where this place used to be so like magical and enticing, it has now just become daunting and quite frankly, kind of terrifying. And I just don't feel like I need to be here anymore. I feel like I've accomplished everything that I needed to accomplish while I was here when it comes to healing and figuring my own shit out because for a very long time I was so confused about who exactly I wanted to be and what my career path was going to be in life and all those things kind of fell into place in the few years that I've been here and so with that being said when I went home and I had the very first night we had a dance party because when I told Christina when I was when we were planning this event months ago now it feels like it was just yesterday that we started to plan this bachelorette party and now it's done which is nuts and the wedding's in a few weeks which ugh, i cannot wrap my head around at all i know that bachelorette parties are supposed to be like this balls to the wall celebration where you drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and you go out and drink some more and pregame and drink some more and then day drink and drink some more like it's supposed to be this wild thing but that's not who i am and so when it came to planning the only request that I had for a theme for this was Barbie, because Barbie was iconic always from my childhood and then even the movie last year, like I, I, I felt so moved by that movie and 
So I wanted it to be Barbie, but I also wanted it to be a sleepover because some of the most amazing nights of my childhood that I remember being 100% completely happy were all during sleepovers with Liz, with Christina, and with Casey. Nicole, I didn't have sleepovers with, <laughs> um, but the other girls, like I did. And now this would be my first time with Nicole. And I feel like it was perfect. We wore ridiculous hats. We had feather boas. We were dancing our asses off, okay, in front of this camera and laughing and just feeling free and grounded. I feel like my battery when I got to South Florida was so depleted and ran dry. And then I felt like leaving. I was energized again, but I felt like I was leaving a part of me back home. And so when I got back here, home, this home, I I told Steven, I was like, I just, I just feel like I'm supposed to be home. I don't know why. Intuitively speaking, I'm listening to myself and my subconscious. I'm supposed to be home. So that is my goal, is to be back home. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go rinse this off and I'll be right back. All right, skin feels great. Feels nice and supple, soft, clean, which is the most important thing. I hate when my face feels like gunky after a long day. And today was a long day. <laughs> so yeah, that is what I've been up to the last few weeks since I announced that I was coming back to YouTube. I meant to honestly film a video before I left, but it just didn't work out that way. Uh, I just, I had so much on my plate at that point. I'm back in school, by the way, I'm about to graduate. Love that. And uh, so I was just, I was too deep into a semester like neck deep with the homework and assignments and papers and projects like it just it was nuts I'm finally done today was the last day of the semester I'm done finally um I have I think a few more classes and then I graduate in the spring which is insane to me my long-term goal is to become a music therapist which was something that just came into my life recently I had never really I never knew about that being a career. When I found out about that being a career path choice, I was like, that's perfect because my entire life, music has been such a like fundamental part of my life. I've always seen it as the best form of free therapy. And so to know that I have a choice to use something that has always been so impactful in my life as a way to help other people it was just a no-brainer for me. My goal is to predominantly work with people who have cognitive decline, things like Alzheimer's disease. My grandmother passed away from Alzheimer's, so this is a very near and dear to my heart um, choice to make. And then to also work with pediatrics because I love kids and to work with them, oh, it would just be so fulfilling. But I also know that not it's not always going to be like that in either case it's not always going to be filling it's going to be actually very sad in a lot of cases so i'm excited i cannot wait to get started i cannot wait to see where this path takes me so anyways that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching i know that this video was very much about you know me updates but i figured i'd do this one uh because i did have quite a few people asking for like updates where i've been what i've been doing what i've been up to what's going on with this channel what to expect going forward with this channel and i guess to answer that question specifically here now um i'm just gonna upload whatever the fuck i want i mean that's what it comes down to because i feel like for a very long time i kind of only kept it as like drama stuff which i'm older now I don't give a shit about that anymore. And while there are still topics that I might discuss that involve the beauty community within YouTube and now TikTok and all these other platforms, I I really don't want to only focus on that because, because realistically, there really isn't a whole lot that's going on. I think the last big like, oh my God, what the fuck situation was when Jacqueline Hill, Manny and Laura were hanging out again just recently. And I think also Gabriel was also part of that as well. It was like this whole thing and people were like losing their minds. Like, what year is it? Um, but I was just like, what do you expect? So I won't talk about things like that because it really isn't who gives a fuck. But 
when it comes to like things that I feel like should be addressed, I absolutely will talk about them. If you have any requests, if there are topics that you'd like me to discuss, of course, I will take that into consideration and I will uh, obviously um, do my best to discuss those things in the video. So if you do want me to talk about those kind of things, let me know. And if you'd like to see a makeup routine, an updated one, because it's been years since I've done an updated makeup routine, let me know. My new collection's in this, this tower right here. Um, and I'm using a lot of different things. I'm very proud of myself for branching out from the norm. So that's pretty cool. But with that being said, I am all done. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.